Well, um, <clears throat> uh, another disappointing loss, obviously. Uh, last game of the season. Uh, wish we had to perform better. Was hoping to compete and finish better than we did. Um, but it is what it is. I still love, love these guys. We'll, um, and we'll always love them. It's a gritty bunch. A resilient bunch. And, um, you know, they will always have uh, my love and respect. So that's what I have. I, I told them, um, you know, in, in life, you know, things will happen, you know, to all of us. And, and you guys, you know, will be able to look back on this season as in a, a really adverse situation. And when, they, when these times hit in life like they do, like we all know they do, you live long enough, everybody in here knows what I'm talking about, you'll look back and say, keep pushing. I told them to keep pushing because when you keep pushing on the other end, there, was, there, there is something better. But you have to keep pushing through. You cannot stop. You cannot give up. And, uh, and I told them, you know, how people were asking me early on in this process, you know, about, about how it felt and everything. And I said, oh, well, you, you can't be stopped. You have to kill me to stop me. And I said, you all have to have that type of mentality. That's a dog mentality. If you want to talk about Spartan dogs, that's a dog mentality. That you're non, you, you, you can't be stopped. I'm unstoppable in everything that I do. And uh, you, uh, you operate like that, then, then the sky is the limit. Um, what what they did, and, and, and I didn't mind to be honest with you, because I'm I'm like okay, yeah, I, I feel you. They were they were still coming after us late in the game, and uh and I, I I personally have no problem with that. They're playing football, trying to get better. Um, hey, well, what are we gonna do to counter it or what have you? But they 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 were playing ball, and so I had no problem with it. We just had to execute. We understand this, that's what they were doing. And uh, and just understand that hey we got to keep playing as well, yep. Uh, Arnold, at the start of week ten, we talked about what would we call that week if it was a title for a chapter in the book. You said finish. So now, with the season being completed, what would you call the book that talked about this entire season? <laughs> That's a good question. Um. I don't know if I say something right now. I might think of something later, but it just off the top of my head right now, the season of adversity. And that can be in life and in sports too. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, you could read the book and you'd be like, what? That happened? And then this happened and then this happened. Like you just keep like, no way. Each chapter you're like, no, that didn't happen. Yes, it did. And so the season of adversity. Um, just how to, um, well, I, I've been through some adverse things in life, so I, I knew how to keep pushing through. I was just talking on the radio deal. Um, one of the things that, that I had to get, I don't know if it's comfortable how you say it with, was um, talking to the team after a loss. Like, the one that really got me was the Rutgers. That was a gut punch. And I'm like, I got to go in here and still talk to these talk to these guys what am I going to say and um and the words just came you know and the words of encouragement because like I told y'all before I'm a natural encourager that's that's who I am I'm a positive person and and I'm a natural encourager so the words just came out whatever I said um but that was something that was tough that was tough and then then to continue to you know go on that six game losing streak or whatever it was and have to go in there and talk to the guys and keep encouraging them but it must have worked because they kept coming out working and playing hard in practice and in game. So um, I, I really appreciate those guys and love them.
Well, they'll get re- just just that, just that it's that is different. They got a whole new deal starting up, um, and everybody, you know, when the new year comes, feels like okay, we have a chance, you know. Um, so uh, whatever happens, it's going. Whoever you are, wh- whatever team you are, hopefully everybody's going into the next year thinking we're going to be really good. We're gonna we're gonna. This is what we have to fix and get better at. And then go through our off-season, you know, strength and conditioning program, uh, spring ball, uh, the summer program, the fall camp, and then go from there. So if 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 you're any kind of a competitor, you're thinking, okay, we're gonna get this thing right for next year and and be able to do it and get it done. Well, I'll be looking in the mirror. And I'll say, Michigan State is a great place. You've known that since 1985. You know there are a lot of great people here. Um, you know that you uh, that you got to love the student athlete above everything. You, 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 you got to be all for them because you got to be about people first. And then everything else will come. They'll, they'll play hard for you. They'll do whatever you ask them to do. I mean, but you got to you got to touch their life and like they got to know you truly care. Um, what, what's that old saying? Uh, y'all, y'all all know the old saying about um, pe- that people don't know they don't, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care, right? And so, um, and I care for people. I care for people. That's that's what I'm taught to do, from what I believe. And so. Um, I love my neighbors as myself, and so um, that's what I'm about. And then I think that re- I now I think I know results come after that. They will come after that, guaranteed. That's a great question. That's a great question. You gonna know, think I'm crazy, but I I think it can be fairly quick, based on a um, few things. So retaining a lot of the guys that are in their locker room now, okay, getting healthy, and then going out and bringing more talent here to help them out. Um, and so I, I think that's that's very crucial. Um, and then you have to sustain it after that. You know, hopefully you stay healthy and all that kind of stuff. But I don't I don't think it's uh, as far away as others may think, I think it can it can be it can be turned around fairly quickly. I don't want to put a true time on it, but I don't think it's like way way out there where you can't get it back fairly quickly. Yeah, we 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 tried our best to, if, other than guys getting injured and all that type of stuff. A lot of good coaches uh, in there, so uh, we definitely tried our best to develop guys and get them as best, you know, make them the best players they possibly can be. That that's the type of program we've been when we've been over the years. Uh, over the I always say 1985, but that's who we've been. You know, we haven't not we haven't been a a a, a school that really goes all over the country and get guys all over the place. All right, it has to be a connection. Otherwise, our, our deal is a, a five-hour radius, right? Michigan, Ohio, Pittsburgh, Chicago, Indianapolis, and then you'll go into DMV and, and Jersey a little bit, and you go down to Georgia and Florida. That's Michigan State. And then you build from there. And, and it's been pretty good, I think, um, over the years. And, and as you are consistently good from doing it that way, then maybe you can get a guy from out further away and all that kind of stuff. But um, you want tough, fast, physical football players. And we, we, we've been able to find those type of guys over, over the years that I've been a Spartan in those areas that I just mentioned. That's a, that's a great question. Um, you know, it's going to be day by day right now, you know, because it's that time of the year. We're still trying to figure out who the, who the coach is going to be, Harlan Barnett. But um, but we're still trying to figure that out. 
But once that gets figured out, then it goes from there, to be honest with you. Yeah, so I really don't, I, it's day to day. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and, and pride for me is a dangerous word, so I, 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 but I do understand what you're saying. Yes, I, I can look back on that because it wasn't all me. It was all of our coaches to help the guys you know, stay and, and, and stay engaged. And we're, and we're happy to be here. So I'm not going to say, look at me, that was Harlan Barnett doing that. But um, I, I do feel like I had a part in it, obviously. And, uh, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I guess, and a little bit proud that they all stayed and a lot of those guys stayed and didn't leave because it could have been a mass exodus where we, we could have not played some games. It could have been that bad. And uh, thank God that it wasn't. And guys kept playing. It wasn't like they just stuck around, but they stuck around and gave everything they had. So that was a good thing. I should ask you that, Maddie. I was going to leave for part of it. All right. Um, my, how I assess myself. First of all, I'm hard on myself, okay? Any, any athlete, like when you as a player, you only would think about the plays you messed up as opposed to the good plays. You know, when you get the man, I know when we get this play on film, I got to go in here and hear him go off on me. But you didn't already went off on yourself, you know? Um, so I, 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 did, I did okay. I mean, I, I, I wish my mindset was we were going to win every game we play. That was my mind. It ain't gonna change. So that's how I always believe. I thought we was gonna win tonight, and you could. And I told tell people, y'all heard me say this before. I could take a lie detector test before every game, and I'd be like, he really believes they're gonna win. I do. That's just my mentality. That's how I've gotten to where I'm at. Uh, and so um, to assess myself that way is to look at the losses, and you're like, well, it wasn't all your fault. Blah 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 blah. This that and the other. It still doesn't feel good, and my name is attached to it. So that's, that's why I need an opportunity to do it my way from the start. And then let's see now, now let's, let's see what it is, what it looks like. Uh, I, 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 I know it would be a tr truly different result. I know that without a doubt in my mind. So it is what it is, no excuses. Um, what was it? What was it? two and, what was it? two and eight? What was I two and eight? Two and eight, that's terrible, all right? But we're gonna get it changed. Thank you.